Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionalis, welcome back. So we have talked about multiple myeloma in previous videos. Today let's talk about MGUS or monoclonal gammopathy of undetermined significance. Who chose this name? Wow, people, doctors are losing their minds. Let's get started. Monoclonal gammopathy of undetermined significance or MGUS. If it's undetermined significance, yeah, probably it has an unknown etiology. Just kidding. It's pre-malignant colonal plasma cell disorder. So it's not malignant, it's pre-malignant. Why pre-malignant? Because it can convert to the malignancy known as multiple myeloma, and this is called malignant transformation. But wait, 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 wait. MGUS occurs in 1% of population between 50 to 60 years of age, commoner in males than females, and commoners in blacks than whites. M spikes, yes, they are present. You remember this M spike on electrophoresis? Still here. The M protein is less than 3 grams per deciliter. Less than 10% clonal plasma cells in the bone marrow. Contrast that with multiple myeloma, because in multiple myeloma we had more than 10% of plasma cells in the bone marrow. Okay, all of the stuff is absent in MGUS. There is no amyloidosis. There is no diagnosis with multiple myeloma at the same time. So if your doctor diagnosed you with both multiple myeloma and MGUS at the same time, you either didn't hear it correctly or your doctor is, is stupid. You cannot have multiple myeloma and MGUS at the same time. It's impossible. There is no macroglobulinemia, and there is no end organ damage. In other words, there is no CRAB, there is no hypercalcemia, there is no renal failure, there is no anemia, and there is no bone lesions. Or there are no bone lesions, to be grammatically correct. How to diagnose this freaking disease? You have three criteria. All of them must be present. First, there is no end organ damage, so there is no crab there is no hypercalcemia renal failure anemia or bone lesions the monoclonal protein has to be less than three grams per deciliter the clonal plasma cells has to be less than 10 percent of the bone marrow how to treat multiple myeloma baby it's not significant it's called of undetermined significance so there is no treatment necessary but you have to follow up with your doctor why to detect malignant transformation to multiple myeloma as early as possible so when you go to the doctor He'll ask you about symptoms, or like, uh, do a physical exam, are you like pale, uh, bone pain, or bone lesions, or bone tenderness, M protein level on electrophoresis, and the doctor will check calcium, CBC, BUN, and creatinine. What is the prognosis? MGUS can transform and progress to multiple myeloma. What is the risk? What is the probability? 1% per year, okay? So every year you have 1% chance of becoming, or of having multiple myeloma. So let's say that we have 100 patients with MGUS and no multiple myeloma yet. Every year, one of these patients will have multiple myeloma. Next year, again, one. So the risk is 1% per year. So if you have MGUS now, and I ask you, in 10 year period, what is your risk of having multiple myeloma? It's 10%, one times 10. Okay, that's easy. Okay, three factors will help MGUS progress into multiple myeloma. First, M protein more than one and a half. Abnormal light chain ratio. Decrease one or two of the non-involved aminoglobin. So if you have MGUS with IgG, and then your IgAs start to drop, your IgEs start to decrease, your Ig whatever D starts to decrease. Okay, this is a bad sign. It means you're probably transforming into multiple myeloma. So here is a mnemonic for you. In order to be a successful person, don't let people take advantage of you. You have to know when to say no. MGUS always says no. It's not a malignancy. There is no known etiology. There is no end organ damage, which means no hypercalcemia, no renal failure, no anemia, no bone lesions. There is no amyloidosis. There is no more 
than 10% plasma cytosis in the bone marrow, there is no hyperviscosity syndrome, and there is no macroglobulinemia. Thank you so much for watching these excellent notes that I'm writing right now, like these. You can get them through a Dropbox link. Go to patreon.com forward slash medicosis. You can view, download, print, and enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard.